can't think of anything better to know than it's well with my soul. I, uh, I always get blessed when we sing that third verse. It said, my sin's not in part but the whole. Yeah. It, what, what if the Lord say, well, we'll take half of them this time and, and then uh, some other time we can make up for the rest. No. <laughs> Here it is. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. And, Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm glad this evening for old time Holy Ghost salvation. Praise the Lord. Do you have requests tonight before we pray? Mm -hmm. and yeah. The, uh, uh, mm. And it seemed like there was so many that said, I tell you, our country is full of apartheid. Yeah, yeah. And, and overseas everywhere. Yeah. 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 Any Alex Adams and Michelle Sweeney. Okay. Remember these. Debbie, yeah, remember Debbie, remember Betty Bailey, uh, Lord, to touch her, uh, she's still having trouble, she's here, <laughs> amen, anyone else, I'm sure all of us have somebody tonight, Brother Don, would you lead us to the throne of grace? I guess this is
that Lord God our God is greater and bigger than anything. Lord God, as we get every expectancy of the new we pray, Holy Spirit, tonight that we pray to the right way. People will go to God that we are able to be in the house of God. We thought of Debbie Lear. We pray, Heavenly Father, to help her get her head screwed on straight. Heavenly Father, to get back, Lord God, where she knows she needs to be. And then, Heavenly Father, we call her, God, Lord God, the seeking of God, God, Lord God, and from Carolyn and Jeff. You know, Heavenly Father, they're needed. We pray, Heavenly Father, Lord God, you help them. And then, oh God, we call them of others, Lord God, that throughout the, the congregation, the seeking, Heavenly Father, to be blessed be seated in the name of the Lord. We're so glad that you know more than we do. And, and Heavenly Father, Lord God, you're able to do what we cannot do. So we give you praise, Heavenly Father, for tonight for the things that you're going to do. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Make a few announcements, and then we'll get right into the service. <clears throat> if you uh, wanted to, to put in someone's name for the uh, spring of 2023 uh, revival, have it in to me by tonight, and, and we'll get to working on our evangelist for the, uh, for the spring of 2023. The Ladies' Auxiliary Mother's Day dinner will be held on Monday uh, May 9th at 6 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall. Uh, the dinner will be catered by uh, Sue's Catering and will consist of ham, fried chicken, mashed potatoes, green beans, salad, rolls, banana pudding. All, all ladies of the church uh, and their guests are invited. The cost will be $10 per ticket and it can be gotten from Shuli Barr, I think she must have tickets, or she's selling pieces of paper or something. <laughs> but it, it, you have to have, you have to have made arrangements by this Wednesday, and it says, this Wednesday, by this Wednesday, so they can have a number of how many ladies they're going to have for that that banquet. So. 38, well, praise the Lord. You may get 50 before it's over with. At 10 bucks? No, you can't either. Well, I was going to say for 10 bucks you could take your husband, but they're not going to let us go. <laughs> Almost opened my mouth too quick. <laughs> Tickets must be purchased by Wednesday. Oh, they, they must be purchased by Wednesday the 4th to finalize the number of tending. Uh, there will be a wedding shower for Austin uh, McLeod and Allison Combs, Saturday, May 21st, 2 p.m. Fellowship Hall. And the couple is registered through Walmart and Amazon. Sister Betty's address is in the, the bulletin. Uh, oh, that's a, okay, a bit of humor, right? I'll not read it then. Uh, Let's keep in mind that uh, in July we'll be having a vacation Bible school too. And uh, should I have done that first? We'll get it done. <laughs> I like it. I have that racehorse there jumping out in front of you. Like, well, that's okay. But uh, in, in July we'll have vacation Bible schools. So be rounding up your, your children, your grandchildren, and all those kids in the neighborhood. And... Uh, and I'm sure it'll be a good time in, in, in the Lord. Charlie, uh, and who's helping this evening? That's what I thought figured. What's his name again? Kevin who? Oh, it's, it's going to be Artie. I try and put Kevin in the middle of the picture there. We got tickets. Oh, he, he put a sharp cookie in it. Kevin, since you did that, just go ahead and ask the Lord's blessing on this offering. <laughs> Amen. 
Yeah. Praise your name. Amen. Now you give tonight as the Lord's given to you. As we were praying a little bit ago, I was thinking so much about all of our kids and how we, don't, we can't get them here. And, you know, if you stop and think about it, what the, the kids are being taught in our schools and everything that's out there in the world, it's so important, probably more important now than ever, that they're in church. And I, you know, I just pray that God would give us all something or someone, one of them, if he gave each of us just one, that we could reach and get them back. Because like I said, they need Jesus more now than ever. All of us do. And I was thinking of my kids. I don't think we've ever had a time in my family that it seems like all of them have pretty major things going on in their life. And they need Jesus now more to give them the strength and stuff to get through that. Even my sisters. I mean, it's just, it's crazy right now in my family. But I know with everything that's going on, that God's in the middle of it all, just like you saying this morning. And there's none of it that's going on that he's not going to bring us all through. And I just praise his name. For we the blind man and he walked on the water and he raised up Jerry's daughter fed the hungry cleansed the leper but we need Jesus now more than ever Jesus now sailing through stormy weather and all God's children should come together for we need Jesus now more than ever he touched the lame man he started walking he touched the dumb man and he started talking he put their lives all back together
together But we need Jesus now more than ever Jesus now more than ever We are sailing in stormy weather And all his children should come together For we need Jesus now more than ever In the book of Revelation We read of tribulation And we're all headed in that direction and only Jesus' blood can give protection. Jesus now more than ever. For we're sailing in stormy weather. And all his children should come together. For we need Jesus now more than ever Jesus now more than ever We are sailing in stormy weather And all his children should come together for we need Jesus now more than ever Oh, we need, yes, we need Jesus now more than ever just kept thinking today he's coming back amen. amen he's coming back brother roger preached an awful awful good message this morning and it's true it's true he's coming back and like he said he could come back right now he could come back before the night's over with he might be well i could go on and on but he's coming back he's coming back i was running the vacuum uh, after everybody left uh, Sunday school this morning and was thinking about a song and I was coming through here and I looked out on the board and there's uh, I think Allison takes care of the board out there I think and she had on there hope is found in Jesus I said thank you Lord <laughs> number five boy. <clears throat> I've been held by the Savior I felt fire from above I've been down to the river I ain't the same a prodigal's return All my hope is in Jesus thank God my yesterday's gone all my sins are forgiven and I've been washed by the blood thank you Lord. I'm no stranger to the prison I've worn shackles and chains but I've been freed and forgiven I'm not going back I'll never be the same all my hope is in Jesus Thank you. Thank God my yesterday's gone. All my sins are forgiven. And I've been washed. 
by the blood There's the kind of thing that breaks a man Breaks him down to his knees But God, I've been broken more than a time or two But you picked me up and showed me how to be a man All my hope is in Jesus Praise the Lord Thank God my yesterday's gone All my sins are forgiven And I've been washed by the blood Help me sing All my hope is in Jesus Thank God my yesterday's gone All my sins are forgiven And I've been washed by the blood I've been washed by the blood. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank you. Everybody, mic the Lord. Are all hearts clear? Anybody's interested in videos on Everybody mind the Lord. have your Bibles, turn with us to Luke chapter 24. I, uh, I've wrestled all, all uh, afternoon trying to, to find what that we, we needed to preach tonight. And uh, long about 5.30, I come across this scripture and, and I... I don't know, I, hopefully what we need to preach from is, is in there, but I, I thought to, after doing all that wrestling, I said, well, Lord, I'm just going to give it to you. I'm going to go pray. So we went to the prayer room and come back, and now we'll read a scripture. If, if, if I say very little tonight, you'll know why. Uh, uh, I, I've always felt like uh, if the Lord wasn't in it, we wouldn't want to do it, and and uh, if he, he doesn't come this evening, we're not going to preach. That's just quick as as I can say it. <clears throat> Matthew, <clears throat> no, Luke chapter 24, <clears throat> beginning at the first verse. Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulcher, bringing spices which they had prepared and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled up from the sepulchre, and they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed, uh, thereabouts, behold, two men stood uh, by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed uh, down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living? Among the dead, he's not here, but he is risen. Remember how that he spake unto you when he uh, was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered 
his words. And returning from the sepulcher, and they re and returned from the sepulcher and told all them the things unto the leavens to all uh, the rest. And it was Mary Magdalene and Joanna and Mary, the mother of James, and the other women uh, that were with them, which told them things, these things to the apostles. And their words seemed to them as idle tales. And they believed them not. Shall we bow our heads for a word of prayer? Now, Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you this evening with grateful hearts. How can we not be grateful when, Heavenly Father, you've been so good to us? Time after time after time, you've shown your mercy, your love, your grace. And Heavenly Father, we know, Lord, that may seem uh, uh, so uh, repetitive, Lord God, to some people. But Heavenly Father, to those that know, they've seen, Lord, the many a times of how God has come along and supplied our needs according to his riches and glory. And I pray, Heavenly Father, for a few moments tonight, Lord, thou would give that anointing. May, Heavenly Father, the spirit of the living God come and may we be able to preach. Heavenly Father, when you're through with us this evening, may, O oh God, we be able to stand aside. May God be given the glory, the honor, and the praise. For it's in Jesus' name that we ask these things. And amen. I, I thought this evening of... The scripture here, thought of the circumstances and, and how that if it were in the day that we are living in, uh, just about what the feelings would have been uh, for you and I. And, 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 and as we, we said here tonight, I, I don't think there's one of us that, that hadn't uh, had to make that trip uh, to the funeral home and and there he can make arrangements for that individual in our family uh, that had passed on. But I have all of this set of circumstances that they uh, carried the body of Jesus. They, they had taken, taken it from the, the cross and, and they had carried it to that, that tomb, sealed the tomb. Uh, and and uh, the, they, they said to make uh, it sure that, uh, that the disciples would not be able to break in and, and to steal the body away. Here it's gone now for three days, and I can see now as those ladies, they had already prepared their, their, their spices and, and, and were ready to, to, to return and I put that sepulcher in there. Uh, so uh, I bring the body and I do, to the place that, where that it needed to be, where, where the anointing oils were put upon it and the spices were placed. And yet as they went, uh, I thought of probably the feelings that they felt that as they went along. I imagine that, that, that they, one of the things that they thought, I hope that, uh, that certainly that, that the body don't stink it. it it's been uh, an hour, three days, and I, I wonder if the body will stink. They say uh, uh, from the time that, that a person dies that, that, uh, that the body begins to deteriorate and, 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 and be, begins, uh, uh, my friend, to, do, uh, 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 to, 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 to go to that place where it's sick. If you've ever been to a place uh, uh, where the the, a, a body has been very, very long. Uh, uh, you certainly realize what the, maybe these women I could have thought uh, as they made their way to that grave. But I thought also uh, uh, that as they went, they thought they had on their mind of what, uh, of what and how that they were going to get back of uh, that stone. That uh, here, probably no doubt. I don't think that they were muscle bound uh, uh, ladies. That uh, uh, but my friends, they they knew that, that they had a job to that. that, that they were going to have to do that. And yet, my friends, they forgot the words of the precious Savior as the Savior has spoke to them. We read, I hear in the Scripture of what Jesus has spoken, how that he, uh, my friends, gave the testimony and those that, uh, that would listen. But yet, my friends, I thought that though they listened, that they didn't really uh, they expect or they didn't uh, realize the greatness of, of the words that were to be spoken as Jesus would say, uh, my friend, that he would have had arise from the grave of thank God. Uh, I'm glad that as he made his way, uh, uh, they made their way uh, uh, to that, uh, that tomb. Uh, why? Because 
Tonight, we've got something the enemy did not give. Yes, right. And we've got something that the enemy cannot take away. Yes, right. Thank you. I serve a risen Savior while He's in the world today. Yes. I know that He is living whatever men may say. Yeah. Yes. Jesus lives Amen. in our heart. Yes. Right here. Amen. Right here. You don't need anybody to tell you where He is. Here He is. Yeah. And yeah. He will on your heart yeah. Yeah. and show you just how good that He is oh, unto me. And you, yes, yes. let us, as God's people, yes. not only remember yes. the words that were spoken, but may we live the life that He spoke to the world. Yes. May know that Jesus Christ is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Amen. Our gracious Heavenly Father, thank you to Thank you, Jesus. Glory. We're glad, thank God, that we know, Lord, that you are ever upon the throne. We thank you, Lord, for our brethren. And we thank you, Lord, for, for the abilities that we have to gather into God's house on the Lord's day. And Heavenly Father, not a plate of valor or hang our heads in sadness because of Amen. 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 God bless you with our prayer. Amen. Amen.